What is up guys, James here from the Light of Raga YouTube channel, and in this video we're going to be doing the weekly reading for the week of March 8th through March 14th. Whew, Mercury Retrograde is finally over. I am it's ecstatic. <laughs> uh, it wasn't the worst retrograde for me, but it wasn't the best either. I had a lot of problems with electronics, some communication breakdowns, some communication failures. <laughs> um, so it was a tumultuous uh, re retrograde for myself. Um, let me know in the comment section how you uh, fe weathered the Mercury Retrograde this year. Uh, but right now we've got a super moon coming in. I love these super moons. They're so, I don't know, cool. <laughs> um, on Monday, I guess Sunday night, tonight, I guess, we're going to have a moon and uh, a full moon, I should say. And it's going to be a great opportunity for you to have a tarot reading, right? If you read tarot, the full moon is a great time for tarot reading. I have a full moon spread that I like to do and... Uh, I just it's a great time to check in on the self and see where you're headed so anyway um, do your tarot readings tonight if you do that sort of thing uh, today we're gonna be focusing on this coming week and how we can make this week the best week possible I've got the good tarot here today I haven't pulled out the good tarot in a while uh, I don't know I just don't really resonate with this deck that well it's sort of like a hybrid between tarot and Oracle so it's kind of weird but I'll give it a shot today and if it goes terribly I may never pull it out again <laughs> if it goes well who knows anyway uh, yeah we've also got some red fire amethyst here oh this is a new find from Brazil I just thought uh, I'd bring this in give us uh, some grounding while we also get our high vibes right this crystal is grounding while at the same time being very high vibe due to the amethyst um, the hematite inclusions keep it grounded and it puts out a powerful energy so i thought we'd have that here for this reading um and we also got a tradition here where we do the bowls so if you don't want to do the bowls you can skip on through to the reading if you want to do the bowls now's the time to close your eyes relax and get into a meditative state All right, the first card we're going to look at is this middle one, and it represents the overall energy of this upcoming week. What can we, what we can expect from this week, what this week is bringing us. We've got the Two of Water. Uh, give me a moment with this card.
Mm, okay, the feeling I'm getting from this card is about getting back on track. Um, like I was just talking about, the Mercury Retrograde is a time of tumultuousness for a lot of people, for some. And uh, things are just weird. Things are different. And I get the feeling from this card that this week is a week for us to find our place again. Find out where we fit in. Find out where we belong. Get back into our groove. Into our uh, routines. Um, and... Uh, Basically, find out where you fit in, right? So this is a week about getting back into the swing of things, getting back into what we're used to doing. Uh, maybe the, for some of us, this means falling back into old habits and routines. And if this means for you something negative, then this is a great opportunity to really observe those old habits and routines and, and, and ask yourself if they're serving you, right? As we move back into mercury going direct i think we're going to start to to look at our our lives before this retrograde and really see the difference right i think a lot of us learn a lot of things during this these retrograde periods and when we apply what we learned to our old life as we come back to it uh, i think we, we start to see it from a different perspective so if you're seeing your old life from a new perspective that's a good thing and if you're seeing things in your old life that aren't uh, in alignment with what you want to be doing or who you are then now's a great opportunity Opportunity to really make change so as we go back into our old lives this week as we start falling back into our old routines as we start figuring out uh, you know where we're moving forward from here uh, I think it's a great time to look at the past and um, see how your past actions your past behaviors fit in with what you want to be doing moving into the future make sense all right, let's move on to this card, which represents what to hold on to this week, what to focus on, what to keep with you, what to hold on to. And we've got the Eight of Earth. Interesting. Eight of Coins, obviously, or Pentacles, I should say. I'll give me a moment with this card. The, the feeling I'm getting from this card is of things growing organically. Uh, and the message I'm getting kind of is just let things happen. Go with the flow this week. Um, this is not a, a week to make crazy drastic uh, movements, right? This is more of a week to let uh, let what's supposed to happen happen. Let things grow naturally and, and uh, organically. Uh, so don't try to force your will this week. I think is the main thing I'm getting from this. And um, take what comes in stride, right? If you're, if you're, uh, if the universe decides to give you challenges this week, take those challenges in stride. Realize that you know you're you're being tested. You're being um, taught something in order to expand, right? That's what that's my idea of taking things challenges in stride. Is realizing that there are lessons to be learned. Uh, if if the universe or whatever wants to bring you joy and happiness, things to celebrate this week, take that in stride. Uh, accept it, allow it. You know, if if the energy this week is on is of joy and celebration, then allow yourself to feel joy. Allow yourself to celebrate. Just take what comes this week, and don't try to fight it. Don't try to uh, rebel against it. Whatever comes this week, just take it right and, and go with the flow and i think you're gonna have a much greater much better week if you allow yourself to go with the flow this week and let things build organically let things come to you and not uh not stress or worry it, to me this is about being in the present moment more than anything is when we're in the present moment we just allow it doesn't matter right the only time you you really feel severe stress severe worry severe anxieties when you're thinking about the future you're thinking about that thing you got to do tomorrow you're thinking about oh where am i gonna you know go after my meeting right you're, you're you're not in the present but if you're in the present moment you accept what is and uh you're a lot calmer you're a lot more stress-free less anxiety right so that's uh, something to focus on this week all right this last card represents what to let go this upcoming week what to avoid what to let go of what not to do We've got the seven of earth. Is that a seven? <laughs> I think that's a seven. Yes. Uh, give me a moment with this card. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, the message I'm getting from this is let go of the feeling like you're in control. Um, 
I, I don't know. This might mean something for every something different for everyone else, for everybody. <laughs> so what does that mean for you? Let go of the idea that you're in control. To me, that means, I'll just say my interpretation. To me, that means that um, this week especially, you've already manifested it. Your, your, your thoughts, your feelings, your actions in the past have already manifested what's going to happen this week. That's what I'm. That's the feeling that I'm getting. So, what good does it do to fight against what's going to happen? What good is it going to do to think that you can change things? The opportunity to create this moment has already passed. I don't think you have much opportunity to change too much this week. So you're just going to have to take what's coming, right? Whatever you've, uh, whatever bed you've laid for yourself, um, you're going to have to sleep in it. That's just the feeling that I'm getting for this week. So if you if you have a bad week this week, I, I really encourage you all to realize that you've manifested that. You've created that. It's no one else's fault but your own. Uh, and you have to look at your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions in the, in the past month, I, I would say. Maybe even further than that. Um, as reasons to why this week didn't go well for you. If this week is going great for you, look at the past month and, and ask yourself what thoughts, emotions, feelings helped create that this moment, helped create this present, and uh, do more of that. So to me, looking at these cards, this is a very odd week. This is a week about getting back on track, and part of getting back on track means um, kind of looking at the old routines and seeing if they still work for you. It kind of means uh, giving up control and and realizing that i don't have all the control so it's an odd week uh to be sure but it's a it's an exciting week if you ask me i think there's a lot of potential i think we're we're gonna see this week as an opportunity to really set the tone for the full the whole year i get the feeling that this is this week right here is going to set the tone for a, a long time to come uh, so make sure that you're when you're getting back into your flow, into your groove this week, that you get into a groove that you want to be in, <laughs> the groove that you need to be in. OK, so that's going to be the reading for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate you guys coming in uh, each and every Sunday and hanging out with me and just, you know, hearing what the week has in store. So I, I really enjoy doing these videos. I really appreciate all of you who come here and watch and who comment and who like and who share and who who do all the great things that you do on this channel. So I really uh, uh, appreciate all of you. So thank you. I hope you have a great week. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy taroting. Peace.